Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Theo here. On today's video, I'm going to show you all the new powers that I've ordered for the Porsche Cayman and the E46 M3. Let's go. Before I start the video, let me tell you if this is the first time you stop by the channel, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever I drop video. Also, like this video if you like this type of content. Now, I'm planning for a lot of things to happen to the E46 M3 and the 981 Cayman S. Now, let me just separate these parts into two categories the one for the E46 and the one for the Cayman. Now, in terms of the E46, the only thing that I have here. It's really the Megan Racing header. So Megan Racing header, it's simply the active auto work, kind of replica, but although it's also a authentic set because they only use the same casing as active auto work headers. Now, what I have here in the box is the actual header. I'm going to do the unboxing when I actually do the installation of the Megan Racing. So here is pretty much everything that you will need to install that. Now, I'm going to start. You see that you're going to need a fresh pair of antifreeze coolant you know gallon of distilled water because you have to flush your system after changing that because part of the installation you have to remove parts of the coolant system now here because i'm going to be removing some exhaust i have new header gasket and these are literally the bolts that are securing the section one to the section two these are the holes securing the section one to the headers and the bolts. I'm planning to replace those because mostly usual those are usually rusted. These are the header bolts. Now, this one right here are actually for the N54 engine. Now, the reason why we purchase is because they have this little hex and it's easy to mount directly onto the engine. Now, these are the gasket for the section one to take section two and these are the bolts that will be used to secure these right here now i have to relocate my oxygen sensors so i have this right here two of them to kind of like help locate so that i don't have a check engine light now if you watch some of my previous video you remember that i ordered these um transmission mount and i did not install it on the e46 m3 so probably i may not install it because right now i have vibration with the engine mount that i have so i'm probably going to revert back to a stock engine mount now these are just a uh, transmission mount so this is here everything that you need for the megan racing header or any header installation in general you want to replace all of these parts because these are really what it's needed and with this even in the future if you have to like do some modification it's going to be easier to do any type of work on the e46 or s54 engine now let's go to the Porsche Cayman S. The first thing I want to mention is simply this right here. Yes, I know I have the PSC exhaust and although it is loud for some, for me, it is not loud enough. And I know that some people will say, what, you crazy man? 
I went with this set and I did purchase it used and yes this is a sole performance exhaust valve valve meaning that I'm just going to hook the same valve system that I have on the PSC exhaust here and whenever I press the spot button it's going to activate the flaps that are actually in here so that you know I can have the, uh, the exhaust quiet or loud whenever I feel like it now this is going to go directly as a stock replacement and I have new bolts actually a new hardware for that which is right here so I want to change the gasket the exhaust gasket right here this is the exhaust to the headers gasket and these are just the four bolts and the four screws that you have to replace now these are the factory ones so it's a good idea to replace it when you're doing this job as well now all of these things are going to be replaced later on now the next piece as you can see here is simply the GT4 diffuser this is an original part and I purchased it from a used uh, car yes and it looks like it was burned a little bit here for some reason maybe the exhaust placement was not uh, perfect and it did burn a little bit here but because when you mount this this is going to be hidden by the exhaust because the exhaust will be sitting pretty much like right here and right here you won't really see that part so it's not a big deal for me so I like this product and I will be installing fairly 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 soon now next on the list is let's start this out this is the short shifter kit yes this is the Cayman S short shifter kit and I will install it just making the actual uh, shifter length shorter by a few uh, millimeters maybe like 10 millimeters I would say and yes it just give it a little advanced shift whenever you are shifting although the shifter is perfect I love the way she but I just always wanted to have that shit for a little smaller so this short shift kit is going to provide me that now this right here is the mesh literally this mesh simply goes here right here so I'm going to have a video of the installation of that shortly shortly now this was actually a gift that was given to me by Tommy L garage and he gifted me this right here because he kind of wanted me to have the inside of my car you know i can tell i will red station which i actually love so that might be something that i'm going to do in the future but yes i will install this on shortly and also start looking for pieces that will replace the black basic trim that i have with this which look i can tell and i just feel like it looks much much better with the contrast stitching because that's the same color that i have on my calipers right here as you can see now here it's my suspension yes originally i wanted to order the x73 suspension kit but because these are back order from porsche and we know it's here when we're going to have it you know produced and shit i called a few porsche dealership and they told me the same exact thing i just didn't want to wait for you know a time that a time frame that is really unknown so i decided to go ahead with the hnr has kit now there's not a lot of these that has been installed so i'm going to make a quick installation probably take it to a shop for them to install professionally and do the alignment after that because the installation of the springs is a little advanced mainly for the back because on the back here you have to pretty much unmount everything there and the day that i explain it i'm going to take the wheel and show you all the work that was done there i just don't feel like tackling that i'm going to put a description on the video that um, literally I use for reference for this installation now I might take this to a shop or I might decide to do it myself I don't know yet but only that day I will let you know now if I come here on this end we have simply the Canon cold air intake I like this because it's gonna provide a little higher flow on the air and colder air also onto the engine simply as that now here I have this brace this is a factory Porsche brace that goes on the back of the car and this helps stiffen the back a little bit when you order it from Suncoast it comes with this bracket right here and these longer screws that you use to secure it on the back now I also did order front and rear sway bars to replace the ones actually that comes with the X73 suspension because I really wanted that suspension and I did order the front and back sway bars and i'm going to add that in addition to this on the front and on the back but this one mounts on the back is fairly fairly simple to install i will have an installation video for this now this one right here is simply my ren motorsport um you know phone mount so that i can have the phone mount on the inside of the car and whenever you have a porsche you're going to need some kind of scanner tool to like clear codes or whenever you do like all change or service like you want to reset those or check some code 
also even do a lot of things. I'm going to make a video explaining all the things that you can do with this specific, you know, uh, scanner. And I purchased this and it's great. Now, finally, the last thing that I have here is simply the oil change kit. Now, I got this from FTP Euros and they usually send everything that you're going to need. I went with, I think, 10W40, 60, something like that. I'm not sure. Whatever the demand, the, the stock is, that's what I went. Now, I went with Liquid Moly because I like Liquid Moly because it's great for German cars. I've used Liquid Moly on all my cars, and, you know, I'm just going to continue that practice. Now, this is a washer, and this is the top bolt that you also can replace. Now, this is a filter, and this is simply the oil. Yeah, man. Whew. That was a lot of power. That's a lot, a lot of power and a lot of work so stay tuned all of these will be installed on the car and i think i need to start uh, doing that so that i have less parts on my garage and and free that a little bit man that it's uh yeah it's a lot of work gt uh, gt4 diffuser exhaust headers and whatnot i just have to start working now most of these parts are all of these parts are really for the porsche and this one right here is for the e46 m3 now, like I said, I might have to order also the factory engine mount for the E46 because I have a little bit of vibration when I'm idle and I just don't like vibration. I knew that I may have vibration, but because I installed the same 95 Euro meter on, the, on my E36 M3, it didn't give me vibration. So I said, you know what, maybe it doesn't give vibration. So I went ahead and ordered that. So I think I might replace that. And if you want to know how the factory look like, these are simply the old ones that I removed from my E46 M3. This is kind of how it was. And yeah, that's it, man. Whew, that's a lot of parts. If you made it to the end, thank you, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure that you subscribe also and hit that like. And you know, stay tuned and you will have the installation guide or installation DIY of all these parts that I just mentioned for the E46 all the Porsche that you have right here, the E46 pack outside. I just needed to have some space so I can do this. <laughs> that's why um, the E46 is not here. It's simply outside of this gate right here. Man, that's it, man. So see you on the next video. The next few videos that you will see probably are going to be the installation of literally all these things right here. I'm going to make a separate video going in the depth details of each product and, you know, detailing the reason why I decided to go with this and you know and just go ahead with the installation so stay tuned and watch more videos on the channel thank you again for watching and stay black